Hey guys, this is your girl Cassie. Welcome back to my cooking channel, Cassie Tasty Cuisine. So today we have this fun rice recipe that I'm gonna make. It's fun, it's fast, it's flavorful, it's colorful, and I think you guys gonna love it actually. So today we're gonna make rice with salted codfish with okra. And of course, I have like some more vegetables, like I said. So, recipes are supposed to be fun and flavorful. So, and also, as many of you know, the Caribbean is known for its rice, and Haiti is actually is known for its variety style of rice. So, let's get started. Okay, so. And I don't know if you guys can hear the music. This is one of my favorite Kizomba uh, song playing right now. So, okay, so let's get started. So like I said, so we gonna make catfish. So this is salted catfish, you guys. So the fish is already, because catfish is, so it's come in little bags like that, but I think some stores are different. I just wanted you guys to see, maybe. But anyways, it's salted. So most likely what you have to do, you need to take the salt out. So the way that I take it out myself, so I boil the fish before. So I boil it and then pour the water out. So I went it, boil it, pour the water out at least a couple of times. So now the salt is totally out. Or maybe there's like a tiny bit in there. Okay. So of course, like I said, so we're going to use okra. I just wanted to show you guys. So I already have it like cut off, cut up, like in not really small, tiny pieces, but in pieces. Um, so I'm gonna use, uh, I already actually had this mushroom. So it's up to you if you wanna use it, but because I had it here, so why not? So it's fun, you know? So um, I have some shrimp also that's already deveined and clean. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some carrots. I am also using uh, plum tomatoes. So that's actually one, two uh, medium size of plum tomatoes. And it's already cut up also. And uh, what else? I have my Haitian spice, of course, as you guys know. Um, I have like a whole habanero pepper. I'm gonna keep it that way. I have some parsley and thyme. And uh, what else? I have some coconut milk. You guys know I love my coconut milk. And I actually like this brand as well. So this is what I'm going to use. Um, what else? Some salt. Maybe I'm going to use some of these habanero uh, spices. So we'll see. And then I have like my peppers in here. My ground pepper almost ground up. So what I'm going to do, right? Because since my spice... The Haitian spice, I keep it in my fridge. So since I like fresh also, so I'm going to take like these two garlic, these two cloves of garlic. I'm going to crush it in here. Basically, the motto of what it's for, they use it in Haiti, is for spices. They usually, actually every day, make fresh spices when they are cooking. So basically, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to mix it with my pepper here. I'm going to crush it in there. But I'm going to use it. And then, so I have crayfish also. This is ground crayfish. So I buy it in, you know, little bags that way. And also this one can be found in ethnic stores. Um, and then I have like quarter of a teaspoon of this ground white pepper. And then I have um, half of a teaspoon of the smoked paprika. And then this is like a little bit of old spice basically so i just need a little more spice and then i have four cloves i'm not putting a lot by the way haitian likes to a lot of this but oh the taste it's when you bite into it it's a lot and then some peppers just to give like some color okay and we're gonna get started so i'm just gonna wait until my this is the pen that i'm using so I'm gonna wait until it's warm up, okay? Just wait a minute here. 
Okay, so there you have it. I know I forgot to tell you guys about the oil, but of course there's oil. Um, since my, you know what, I'm gonna measure it for you guys with the oil here. What we could have done with no measure. You know what, we're gonna go with no measurement, but I'm gonna try to put two, um, two actually tablespoon, okay, of oil. And so what I'm gonna do, a little bit more, there you go. So what I'm gonna do, so it's really hot right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the fish, is it? Uh, it could use a little bit more. Just a bit more. And I know you can see like that cube that I have here maybe. I usually put it out, but sometimes I don't use it most of the time. Sometimes I use it if I need like a bit more salt or anything like that. So what I need here, it's for the fish to have a bit of brown color, okay? So, what I'm going to do to get that, I'm going to take some of my, a little bit here, and I think also I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of turmeric powder because I need this color in this fish, okay, just a little bit. I mean, that's not even like half of a quarter of a teaspoon, it's really just a tiny bit. I just want to put it in here, so I'm gonna let this golden a bit, okay? Okay, there you have it, guys. So this is the fish, the salted uh, cod fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, but I just want you guys to see how it looks. Not too burnt, but a bit brown, okay? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm taking one teaspoon, okay, of this spice. I have it in here. And of course, like I said, so I grind um, that, uh, those two cloves of garlic that I have here with the pepper. So I add this in here. Uh, there you go. So of course I take like the fish out. So that, that's the fish. So I have it on the side for now. Just the smell of this only. Since I, I don't want with the texture, because this you have to be careful because it has like its own texture, so then therefore I'm gonna add it here first. Because what happens, I want it to take like a little, um, I want it to be as dry also as possible. So there you go. I'm not adding any, spice, any other spice yet. It smells so delicious. You guys really have to try this one here. Oh, uh, the oil is drying up. I'm gonna add a bit more because I don't wanna put a lot of oil. The coconut oil has its own oil, so I don't want a whole lot in here, okay? So, okra is sauteed in here. I need this to be really hot. Slow down. Have the okra really sauteed. Okay. I don't know why I'm just forgetting. Look at you guys, but anyway, you get it. <laughs> I'm making sure everybody's here. <laughs> So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the side here as well, or most of it at least. Because what happened, right? The texture can be very delicate. And we don't want that. I'm adding my shrimp. Oil is still looking like really small, but it's okay. Like I said, oil just dry up. I'm gonna go ahead and add oil to my tomatoes. Did I tell you guys about the tomato space because we're gonna use some? So I have all the vegetables. I'm gonna add my vegetables in here. By the way, I'm gonna use those. And I kept on resting, but they already rest. So this is how I caught it. And like you can see, how big, by the way. Everything is in here. Carrots. And I'm gonna add the crayfish because I need this for the flavor. My spice. All my spice that I have here. Pepper. Everything is in here right now. Okay. So I need to oh my gosh, it smells really good. So what I'm gonna do with the tomato paste, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of the tomato paste paste also. And in here, I don't know why I left this out. By the way, I'm gonna use basmati rice. And I'm gonna go ahead and use, um, I'm gonna have one and a half cup. And you guys already know, so be careful with this. That's why I'm gonna measure it so you guys can see because it's water also, it's liquid. So that's one cup. I'm sorry, I need to mix it really well. So I'm using one cup. I'm gonna add some salt. I'm using like this pink Malian salt, basically. Just a little bit of salt. It's not even quite off a teaspoon because I don't want to add any uh, anything yet, like any more salt. I'm gonna go ahead. So that's one cup. So basically, I'm gonna add two cup of water for the rice. Okay. Okay. So listen, I just want you guys to see how it looks. Oh my gosh, this is how it looks, right? And I wanna taste it because that's just the coconut that's in there. Um. So I don't want any of the uh. Salt is perfect. It doesn't need anything else for now. So the fish is on the side. I'm gonna put it in a minute. But I just want you guys to see before I add the water for the for the rice, basically, because I'm gonna add like two cups of water because this one is about like a cup in here already. So there you go, guys. So this is like the water. I'm gonna put the rice, but I let it boil for at least five minutes or so. Okay, I let it boil. I taste like the salt. I add like a bit of mossy salt, or whatever salt that you are using. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add those, like I said, because I didn't want them to be too. Um, I didn't want them to be smushy in here. So this is like that sauce. And then I'm gonna add the rice in it basically and then so of course we're gonna let the rice cook um, that's all the vegetables that's why you see the rice is on top but it's already measured so it should be fine 
So you want to let the rice cook, uh, I mean, until the water is drained. If you have like the right amount of rice in there. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay, so there you have it, guys, as the water drain. As you can see, right, the water drain, there's like some water in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm going to go ahead and cover this really well covered for like 10 minutes, maybe 15, 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, okay? And then I turn off, turn off I mean, turn the oven down like really low. So I'm going to let it uh, finish cooking here that way. This is it. This is how it looks. It's yummy, you see? Rice is fluffy. Everything is separated, so it's not sticky. Nothing is sticking to each other. Um, as far as like with the vegetables and the fish. So the pepper is here. It's up to you if you want to open it, if you want that extra spice. Uh, but this is it. Looks so yummy. And I did taste it. I'm going to taste a little bit more. really tasty this is it okay so i like to thank you guys today for watching so remember to subscribe and tell your friends ask questions if you have any thank you again for watching cassie tasty cuisine and i am looking forward to seeing you guys soon and this one it's used as dinner. I forgot to tell you guys, I did. This recipe is used as dinner. I don't know what you guys are drinking, but I'm drinking passion fruit juice that I made from scratch, of course. Okay, so thank you again, guys, for watching. Now, where?